Hello everyone, this is Kez and welcome to your weekly English practice from English Coaching Projects. As you may know, if you've ever visited our website, that I've listed my favourite book as being a dictionary. In this week's weekly English practice, we're going to be looking at the dictionary definition of the word woman and other related words. Campaigners were upset that Oxford University Press, the makers of the Oxford Dictionary, had included some offensive words as synonyms for the word woman, and they were campaigning to get this changed. Read this week's text, listen to the audio, and find out if the campaigners achieved their goals. Don't forget to chat about this subject with your friends, your family, your colleagues, or your ECP coaches. You can even send us a voice recording via WhatsApp. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, have a great week and see you all again at the same time next week. Take care, bye. Oxford amends sexist definitions of woman. Publisher has updated its definition of woman as well as many other terms and labels bitch as offensive, but fails to satisfy some equality campaigners. Oxford University Press has updated its dictionary's definitions of the word woman following an extensive review started by equality campaigners. Among the updates to Oxford Dictionary's definitions is the acknowledgement that a woman can be a person's wife, girlfriend or female lover, rather than only a man's. The entry for man has also been amended to include this gender-neutral terminology, and many other terms related to sexual attractiveness have been revised. Labels have been applied to terms identified as offensive or dated, such as the word bitch and bint, which are listed as synonyms for the word woman. An OUP spokeswoman said the changes were made after its dictionary compilers made an extensive review of entries for woman and many other related terms. The review was created due to a petition last year which criticised the dictionary's inclusion of bitch, bint, wench and other offensive remarks among its list of synonyms for women. Campaigners argued that the examples the dictionaries offered for man were also much more extensive than those for women and presented women as subordinate or an irritation. Miss September will embody the professional yet sexy career woman, read one example. Another spoke of male fisherfolk who take their catch home for the little woman to gut. The petition called for phrases and definitions that discriminate and patronise or connote men's ownership of women to be eliminated. It also demanded that the entry of woman be enlarged and include examples which represent minorities, such as transgender and lesbian women. The leaders of Women's Aid and the Women's Equality Party supported the campaign this year on International Women's Day by signing an open letter asking OUP to change the sexist definitions.
Bitch is not a synonym for woman. It is dehumanizing to call a woman a bitch. It is but one sad, albeit extremely damaging, example of everyday sexism. And that should be explained clearly in the dictionary entry used to describe us, it read. Maria Beatrice Giovanardi, who started the petition, which has reached 30,000 signatures, was very happy with the changes and felt the campaign had achieved 90% of its aims. She said the inclusion of gender-neutral terminology in the dictionary's relationship examples marked a huge step forward for the LGBTQI people. It is respecting their love and unions, she added. But she remained disappointed that the word bitch, defined as a spiteful, unpleasant or disliked woman, continued to be listed as a synonym, albeit now labelled as offensive. She contrasted this to the classification of the word dickhead, defined as a stupid, irritating or ridiculous man, which is considered vulgar slang and not included in the list of synonyms for men. An OUP spokeswoman said their dictionaries reflect rather than dictate how language is used. This is driven solely by evidence of how real people use English in their daily lives. This independent editorial approach means that our dictionaries provide an accurate representation of language, even where it means recording senses and example uses of words that are offensive or derogatory and which we wouldn't necessarily employ ourselves. The OUP said its review has developed into an ongoing project to re-examine our treatment of language, with recent work undertaken around race and racial diversity, and on the use of they as a pronoun for people whose gender identity is neither exclusively male nor female. Here are this week's questions. Do you think there is a lot of gender inequality in the world? Give some examples. Does your language have lots of synonyms for women? Can you explain some of them? Will men and women ever be equal? Why? Why not? Can a language be sexist? Or is it simply the people who use it who are sexist? Do we have to be careful with the language we use so that we don't offend others? Does this also apply to comedy?